Good morning, Zion. This is morning prayer, right two for July 11th, the Thursday after the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. Today, we also celebrate the life of Benedict of Nursia, abbot of Mont Cassino, about 540. The Psalm for today is Psalm 18, part one, beginning on page 602 of the Book of Common Prayer, and the service itself begins on page 80. The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 18, part 1. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my stronghold, my craig, and my haven, my God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress. I cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were uncovered, and the foundations of the world lay bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Romans. You will say to me then, why then does he still find fault? For who can resist his will? But who indeed are you, a human being, to argue with God? Will what is molded say to the one who molds it, why have you made me like this? Has the potter no right over the clay to make out of the same lump one object for special use and another for ordinary use? What if God, desiring to show his wrath and to make known his power, has endured with much patience the objects of wrath that are made for destruction? And what if he has done so in order to make known the riches of his glory 
for the objects of mercy, which is prepared beforehand for glory, including us whom he has called, not from the Jews only, but also from the Gentiles. As indeed he says in Hosea, those who were not my people, I will call my people, and her who was not my beloved, I will call beloved. And in the very place where it was said to them, you are not my people, there they shall be called children of the living God. And Isaiah cries out concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel were like the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will be saved. For the Lord will welcome, will execute his sentence on the earth quickly and decisively. And as Isaiah predicted, if the Lord of hosts had not left survivors to us, we would have fared like Sodom and been made like Gomorrah. What then are we to say? Gentiles who did not strive for righteousness have attained it, that is righteousness through faith. But Israel, who did not strive for the righteousness that is based on the law, did not succeed in fulfilling that on that law. Why not? Because they did not strive for it on the basis of faith, but as if it were based on works. They have stumbled over the stumbling stone, it is written. See, I am laying in Zion a stone that will make people stumble, a rock that will make them fall, and whosoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Here ends the reading. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because of your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O oh God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Gracious God, whose service is perfect freedom, 
and in whose commandments there is nothing harsh nor burdensome. Grant that we, with your servant Benedict, may listen with attentive minds, pray with fervent hearts, and serve you with willing hands, so that we may live at peace with one another and in obedience to your word. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant the people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today, and I may the rest of your day be wonderful.